In our previous video, we delved into some astonishing discoveries of ancient caves buried for thousands, if not millions of years. Realizing they've uncovered things they perhaps weren't meant to, scientists and the archaeological world were left astounded. Beyond the caves already discussed, there are still other ancient caves buried for millennia, even millions of years, that have recently been discovered and have just as significantly startled archaeologists. Where are these discoveries located? What makes these ancient caves so important? Let's dive deeper and find out. Forgotten by the world for over 5.5 million years, Mobile Cave stands as one of the most extraordinary archaeological findings. This cave has developed a unique and bizarre ecosystem, likely unparalleled anywhere else on Earth. Located a few miles off the Black Sea coast in Romania, Movil Cave is one of the most secluded places on Earth, sealed off by thick layers of clay and limestone at the end of the Miocene era. Interestingly, the cave was discovered accidentally by researchers in 1986, who were scouting for a site to construct a nuclear power plant. What makes this cave unique and somewhat eerie is its nearly 100% humidity, a toxic atmosphere, and the severe lack of sunlight. These conditions have made the cave a haven for many peculiar species capable of adapting to its unique atmosphere. When first discovered after being isolated for millions of years, scientists initially believed it would be void of life due to the minimal light and oxygen. However, the discovery of various living species adapted to the extreme environment inside was utterly astonishing. Scientists have identified at least 53 invertebrate species living in Mobile Cave, with 37 of them found nowhere else on Earth. Research published in 2020 revealed that inhabitants of this cave include spiders, water scorpions, and leeches, along with a newly discovered species of centipede. What makes life inside this cave so unique is how it has adapted to the unusual conditions. One such adaptation is the absence of sunlight. The cave's ecosystem does not rely on photosynthesis, but rather on chemosynthesis. Additionally, most creatures living here lack eyes and are devoid of pigment. This makes sense as who needs beautiful colors or functioning eyes when living in darkness? In stark contrast to the inhabitants of this equally invaluable ancient site in South America, its collection is breathtaking, featuring nearly thousands of rock paintings, art utilizing the cave walls. This discovery showcases how the civilization was consciously documenting itself in the past. Located in Patagonia, northwest Argentina, this site is named Cueva Huenul and serves as a 630 square meter rock shelter, adorned with about 9 100 unique ancient paintings that display a range of geometric patterns, including human figures and animal symbols. Recent research published in February 2024 concluded that this cave dates back to approximately 8,200 years ago. Cave artists replicated the same designs with black pigments for thousands of years thereafter. According to science writer Becky Ferreira, these comb-like designs were possibly used for communication during climate changes. Moreover, this ancient artwork, especially those featuring symbols of humans, animals, and more, was dated by archaeologists using the radiocarbon system. Scientists examined small fragments of black pigment from the drawings known to be derived from plants. Archaeologists also discovered that these black paintings were made from charred wood sourced from burnt shrubs or cacti. According to researchers, during the late Holocene era, the Patagonia region was known to be dry and hot. Yes, this is the southernmost region of South America, first inhabited about 12,000 years ago. Around 10,000 years ago, Patagonia became increasingly arid, making it difficult to inhabit. 
archaeological records in the cave indicate that this cave site was abandoned around that time. In contrast to La Roche-Cotard, an ancient cave located on the wooded hillside above the Loire River in France. This cave was first discovered in 1846 during operations in a quarry for the construction of a railway line. When first excavated in 1912, an astonishing finding was revealed. The Neanderthal carvings within this cave are said to have been created long before modern humans inhabited the Loire Valley, France. Yes, scientists agree agree that the carvings in this cave are the oldest known Neanderthal cave carvings. Researchers have also determined and revealed that the carvings in this cave have existed for at least 57,000 years, while the cave itself is estimated to be 75,000 years old, meaning long before Homo sapiens arrived in this part of Europe, France. Additionally, experts identified many other cave wall markers, created by animal claws like those of cave bears, and by metal or other tools during modern explorations into the cave after 1912. The results confirmed what experts had predicted. They showed that the unique designs were made by human hands, working on the soft limestone walls, a material known as tuffo, comprised of fine quartz grains and fragments of ancient mollusk shells. So what's the significance of this ancient finding? At first glance, it might not seem very important, especially to those of us unfamiliar with caves. But did you know, this finding, along with a series of typical Neanderthal stone tools, led scientists to identify them as creators of cave art, adding substantial evidence that our closest relatives, the Neanderthals, were far more complex than the caveman stereotype suggests. But there's an even more surprising aspect. Have you ever thought that our ancestors enjoyed eating roasted vegetables? In 2016, an ancient cave on the border of South Africa was discovered. Not just old, this finding, estimated to be from 170,000 years ago, revealed new facts about the behavior and dietary habits of human ancestors. Published in a 2016 journal, this discovery uncovered the earliest evidence of ancient humans cooking root vegetables. Border Cave, situated between South Africa and Eswatini, holds an extraordinary record of ancient human habitation. As known, hot roasted root vegetables are comforting food, and a plate full of carbohydrates is filling and nutritious for humans. That's what researchers concluded. A team working at the site found and documented remains of underground plant stems containing starch or rhizomes cooked around 170,000 years ago. So what's important and surprising about the discovery of these fossilized food remains? Experts concluded that the inhabitants of Border Cave were modern humans, or Homo sapiens, with the same nutritional needs as people today. It sounds bombastic, but that's how it is. For the large human brain to function, humans need to consume about 100 grams of carbohydrates per day. And yes, the discovered rhizomes likely fulfilled that need in the past. Moreover, experts found that cave inhabitants also ate meat, evidenced by bones of wild animals that had been processed and consumed. In Africa, it's known that game meat is lean, especially during the dry season when animals lose weight. Lean meat protein cannot be metabolized by the human body without carbohydrates or fats. Ultimately, this discovery broadens our understanding of the culinary diversity of our ancestors, balancing their diet with flour from roasted vegetables.